Okay, everybody. Morning of day 19. Getting ready to head out now. Uh, it is raining. It's supposed to rain for a little while, but I think the worst of the thunderstorms are over. So uh, I'm going to get heading up trail and I'll show you anything neat there is to see along the way. Okay, we are about an hour and a half into our hike this morning. I just stopped to take off my rain jacket. It looks like it's clearing off. Probably not gonna be more rain. Uh, besides, I'm sweating <laughs> so much from wearing that dang thing. Uh, right now, the breeze is starting to pick up a little bit, which is fine, it feels good. Uh, supposedly this afternoon, we might get gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Uh, we'll just have to see what that's like. I'll be up on the ridge by then. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, we got about a 3,000 foot climb today. So it'll be a lot of climbing, just an all day thing. So far it hasn't been too bad. You'll hit some steep spots and then it'll clear up and it won't be too bad. But uh, we're gonna get on up the trail and I'll show you any neat things or to see. exceptionally rocky section of the trail here and then every so often there's a tree down across it too so this is what they call the jump up I don't know if that's because it's gonna get real steep up here or what but uh, that's what it's called anyway. There, we finally got a little bit of a view up here. Uh, that's the river way down there where we started this morning, a couple, three hours ago. I don't know exactly where it was we started. I think it was downstream a ways. But uh, we're not at the top yet, but it is pretty up here, that's for sure. Okay, it's about 12.30 right now. I just stopped and had some lunch. Uh, the shelter I was aiming for today is like only one mile away. Uh, I finished the big climb for today. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about maybe pushing on. There is a stealth campsite, kind of not by a shelter, that's supposed to be in about four and a half miles. So I should be able to get there by like 3.30, quarter to four. Uh, I may shoot for that. Uh, there is one more big climb if I do that, but at least then it would be all downhill. So I kind of convinced myself that I'm going to do that because uh, it's 1230. I'll, I'll be up here by one o'clock at the other shelter and that's kind of early to be stopping. And honestly, I'm feeling pretty good even after that big 3200 foot climb. So uh, that's kind of my thought at this point. So we'll see. I'll update you as we go. I kind of go by the way I feel so it could change. We are up on Chahoya Bald. It's 5,035 feet up here. Rather windy, but uh, feels good in the sun and it's cool. Feels good. Here at Locust Cove Gap. I got my mic on. Hopefully you can hear me. It is super windy. Uh, they're calling for 55 mile an hour winds, which is probably what we're getting right now. 
Uh, I try to pitch my tent over this little bit of a berm down low to try to stay out of the worst of the wind. I cooked my dinner like behind a log. <laughs> uh, this is just a primitive site. It's not, uh, doesn't have a privy or there is some water. It's a couple hundred yards away, but uh, all in all, it's not too bad. I was going to pitch down inside these rhododendron and I debated doing that. It might be a little less windy, but um, it's not real level and it's not real big, although I could probably make it work if I had to. But I thought the wind doesn't bother me too much if I pitch my tent down low enough. I'll get in from this back side and it won't be real bad. I see there's a bunch of leaves already in there. But uh, anyway, all in all, pretty good. Uh, just about to wind up day 19 on trail. I need to look and see how many miles it was. I'm thinking it was right around 10 miles I did today. Uh, and with that big climb, I'm completely happy with 10 miles. Uh, that climb, it wasn't real bad. If you knew you were going to spend half the day climbing, you kind of expected it. But uh, it was quite a climb. So anyway, I'll let you know if anything else exciting happens. Other than that, I, gotta, I just got done eating. I got to figure out where to ha hang my bear, my bear bag and uh, clean everything up. It's about quarter after four right now. Uh, quarter to five, actually, right now. Um, so I'll have to get everything ready. And uh, I usually get in the, in the bed before the sun even goes down. So anyway, uh, I'll probably talk to you later. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Well, everybody, uh, that pretty well wraps up day 19 on trail. I am at mile 147-ish, and the Smokies start in 166 or 67. Uh, my plan is hike two days to get to Fontana Village. I will resupply there. I have a package coming there with resupply items because there's not a lot of resupply available there. So I'll just make sure I have everything I need, and then... I'll be hitting the Smoky Mountains, and I'm hoping to get through them in six or seven days. If I can, I'll try to do it all in one straight shot, but you know how it is out here. We, we don't plan too far in advance. We just take a day at a time. So uh, anyway, uh, all in all, a good day. It started out kind of rainy and a little bit cool, ended sunny and really windy. Uh, tonight's low is supposed to be about 32, and with the wind, that might be a little chilly, but I'm, I'm not worried. It won't be too bad. Um, I got my pit, my tent pitched real low, so there's not a lot of wind will come up underneath it. Um, other than that, all in all, a good day. Um, so if anything else exciting happens, I'll let you know. But other than that, we will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. Uh, morning of day 20 just sitting here making some breakfast this morning and I'm gonna be heading out it was a good night last night the wind finally died down not long after dark so uh, my plan for today is about 11 and a half miles to the next uh, shelter actually I think I skipped the shelter and uh, stay there and then tomorrow we should be getting into Fontana Dam so uh, that's the plan it's a pretty nice morning this morning and uh, we're gonna get down the trail and I'll show you what there is to see we're at Simp Gap this morning just a little gap not much of anything but uh, kind of pretty views a little farm down there you can see through the trees it's kind of hard probably to see but the green pastures really looks pretty from up here uh, you know, kind of if I've learned anything from this trip is that gaps are nothing to look forward to it just means you're gonna have a lot of downhill and a lot of climbing on the other side so uh, anyway I'm coming up still out of simp gap and uh, gonna head on up the trail already shed a layer it's only about 45 minutes into the day and uh, we're gonna head on down trail see what we can see today <music> Thank you.
Well, I'm coming up on Chihoya Gap, and I think I smell trail magic. Hey, look at that. Let's get down there and uh, see what's going on, yeah? Well, we found some trail magic. They got sausage and eggs and all kinds of stuff. Here's a nice lady cooking up today. Hi, I'm Connie from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Hi, all right. This all is my kinds daughter. of food. Hi, I'm Taylor. Hi, Taylor. All kinds of food they got here. It's great. Well, it's nothing better than come out of the woods and see trail magic. <laughs> This mountain just keeps on going and going and going. I don't know where the stop is, but they don't believe in switchbacks. They're just going straight up the dang thing. everybody uh, end of day 20 on trail did about 11.5 miles probably close to eight hours uh, at cable gap shelter right now uh, pretty hard day I gotta admit it was pretty hard there were a lot of straight up straight downs uh, thought a lot of level today my knees are hurting pretty bad uh, some days are like this some days are like this just a lot of work all day long uh, but uh, made it here and uh, got dinner made, got my bear hang done, which took like an hour to find a place to hang it because none of the trees around here have uh, horizontal limbs on them <laughs> that are sturdy enough to hold a bag, a bag. So it took like an hour to find a tree and it's a long ways up the hill. It's hard to get to, but uh, it's hung. Uh, everything's in the tent. Uh, it's probably only 6.30 or something like that, but I'm probably heading for bed. Uh, pretty wore out after today. Uh, tomorrow, the plan is get up. It might be raining in the morning, but get up and head to Fontana Dam. That's the plan anyway for tomorrow. So if anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow morning.